Hello, it's me Glyph back again. Welcome back to another video and today we are on the testing server. Decca announced that they are trying out some new updates for the Steamworks. We can see this beautiful portal here uh, and we got some other items. Uh, we got the Steamworks UTs. So these are new weapons or not new. These are like new sprites for older weapons, but I think they will be updated. I think they don't want to release what they are doing but you can see the sprites here looking very cool a bow uh staff uh, a sword and a katana then we have the steamworks uts uh the abilities and we also got the event white that will drop from the steam train in the realm which is uh wakasashi so that's pretty cool and we will try that out and we also got some oryx mass uts reskins of the new weapon types uh, that do some uh, bonus stuff to them later tonight i will re release the giveaway winners for the giveaway of november 2022 so be sure to be on the lookout for that one but you can join it after this video i will pick the winners later tonight as you can see in this footage they've updated the sprite work in the steamworks a little bit uh, and I think they've changed something with the boss fight. So let's get some of the items. We're gonna get the reskin UTs. We're gonna get the Steamworks UTs, including the new Wakasashi uh, and the Oryx Mass UTs. There we go. So, do we start off by trying out the new event white? I think we're gonna do that. Uh, seems a little bit interesting. We have the Tashi, we have the ring. Let's get all the new items uh, and that one. So, yeah, here we have all the new items for Katana and the uh, Samurai. Also with this ring, which is, is just a crazy DPS ring. But here we have the Kogbold Multitool. Ability, one sweep, fires 12 projectiles over a large area, each dealing 200 to 250 damage and exposing for 4 seconds. 10 dexterity for 2 seconds, MP cost 90, range 45, shots 8, shots at multiple targets, shots pass through obstacles, ignores defense on target. Shot effect, exposed for 2 seconds, ability 2, strike, ability 3, shield. Uh, can you read more than this? Okay, that's whack looking. Let's go into a dungeon. Let's go into a mountain temple. Why, why does it do this when I press shift? No clue at all. Oh my god, we have three different abilities on one, so if I hold shift, I change ability. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's actually interesting. That's... So, I have the one that gives expose, then I change it, let's see, I fully change it. Now I have the one that gives me dexterity. Then I'm gonna press shift again, right? Hold in shift. Then we got another one. Which gives me attack. Okay, that's interesting. This is a very interesting item. <laughs> I guess it's called multi-tool for a reason. Okay, that's actually whack. That's so cool. I'm not sure how useful it, it's gonna be. Gives dexterity, attack, and defense. So depending on what situation, uh, you might want uh, other things. So this is just instead of changing ability. So how much defense do I get? Plus 10, okay. I mean, this is interesting. I, yeah. Okay, interesting. So we're in this dungeon and let's look at the socket player. This is just a reskinned 
uh, what's it called? Void Blade. Uh, and I think it's just a placeholder for the item. Because I think that with the release of this dungeon, four new weapons with 15 legendary material would be really nice. So I think this is just a placeholder. Or it could be a reskin Void Blade. But I think that would be pretty stupid to release that with a new endgame dungeon. Then we have the Hook Blade Tachi, which is almost like the tier 13, a little bit less damage, uh, but they do a little bit other stuff. You see the normal Tachi looks like this, and the bullets go a little bit to the right or left. Let's see. I can hit him here. Yeah, so you see. So all these reskinned tier 13 weapons do a little bit less damage, but to add something spicy to uh, their pattern or what they're doing. So looking at my necromancer here, I have some items to just show. We have the brain cube that I've shown before. We have, then we have the mechanical cogbold limb, which is the secluded thicket stuff. Uh, nothing is changed with this one. Uh, as I said, I think it's just a placeholder for better items. Then we have the reskinned tier 13 spellblade. Uh, and the bullet just lingers one second more on your character. It takes some while to uh, shoot or like, get launched from your character. Uh, so nothing more interesting than that. Then we have the brain cube as well as, well as the steam pipe, which is the staff. Let's see. Yeah, steam pipe here. So I'm not sure if they've changed this one. I think they have changed this one. Okay, the sh I, I, I don't believe the shot pattern ha have been like this before, but I kind of like this. This is better um, than having like spread out from your character, uh, that it spreads out on the apex point of the bullets. I like that much more than uh, before. Uh, Kind of interesting. Uh, shot multiple bullets. Bullet one, bullet two. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the brain cube stays on the target. Let's see. Produces three explosions at the aim point. The first heals the player with and allies with subsequent burst dealing decreasing damage over a wider area. So I think that's pretty interesting. It's like a stationary target that first heals and then uh, do damage. Uh, I think that's pretty interesting. And that's the first uh, skull uh, like that that we've had in the game. Looking at the wand, we have the Ascetic Aspergillum, which is the uh, reskin tier 13 uh, wand. I've used uh, this one. Uh, and then uh, we have the Laser Pointer, which is also the new wand from the Steamworks. So the Ascetic Aspergillum. Uh, produces a 20% chance to create a puddle of acid when fired. So here we can see the acidic puddle that spawns with a 20% chance. I think it's, yeah, it's on the apex point. Or is it where you're aiming? No, it's on the apex point of the bullets. Then we have the laser pointer, which is a little bit more interesting, I think. It's uh, just a fast shooting one with a bullet that lingers around the first bullet. For the main bullet. Uh, was there anything more? No, I don't think uh, we had anything more for uh, the wand classes. Then on Assassin, we have the boomerang blades. So this is like the normal dual daggers, but one bullet actually goes back and forth and one shoots a little bit longer. So the first bullet has 3.6 in range and the other one has 4.8 in range. So shoots like that. I think that's kind of interesting. And then we have the chain dagger. And this has actually been updated since I first saw it, I think. So it's called Rev Up. Gain 1 plus dexterity while shooting to a maximum of 10 dexterity. So you get more dexterity uh, the longer you shoot it. So I'm not sure how much it ha have to rev up. Let's take off. So we have 76 dexterity. I'm shooting for some time. Let's see. I got plus seven. Let's see. Yeah, there we have the maximum. So you want to keep shooting while having this dagger. 
Uh, um, the shot effect is bleeding, causes up to 50 damage for 4.5 seconds per stack. And the XP bonus is 7%. And for the bow classes, we have the Harpoon Longbow. So we have bullets that do bleeding. It's like a normal longbow, but the bullets linger and shake a little bit. Uh, but they do bleeding. Uh, and then we have the Clockwork Repeater, which is a reskin. Uh, it's a reskin Doombo at the moment. I think, as I said, these will be uh, reworked or be become better items because they do look really nice. This bow looks pretty cool. And uh, hopefully it's... Uh, uh, something to do with it, the steamworks release as i i said for the other weapons and then for night we have the atavistic soul saber which is just a reskinned ass at the moment i think it looks pretty cool and hopefully this is, will become a really good sword and hopefully this will become a really good sword then we have the cogbold cover shield and uh, it lingers a little bit after you've uh, shot it and uh, on ability use gain 15 speed and defense for four seconds six seconds cooldown over pressure fires five additional shots when slowed confused or paralyzed bullets deal 425 to 400 damage i think that's pretty interesting and we get five speed and five vitality on equip and the 15 percent speed when we use it so you become a very much faster you can you, like with the 5 plus speed you get 20 plus speed while having this uh, stat bonus so i like that and it makes uh, the knights even more op i think then we have the seismic flail which uh, has a 50 percent chance to cause an explosion dealing 330 to 395 damage when fired looks like this it's like a normal flail but just an explosion uh, with a 50% chance, so 50% of your uh, like your shots will uh, give an explosion at the apex point. I think that's pretty interesting. I like the sprite for it; it's uh, pretty good. But I do like the atavistic soul saber much more. But uh, yeah, that was everything. I think I had one item left in my gift chest, and that was the rust scepter, which is just a scepter does that inflicts weak on your enemies, and I think that will be pretty useful in uh, the game because now we have the Pharaoh's Requiem which is a little bit hard to hit so the scepter is a little bit easier to hit so yeah uh, hopefully this will be used a lot in endgame dungeons and I think week overall just helps everyone to survive a little bit longer so what do you think of this uh, testing patch got some updated sprites in uh, the steamworks we got some updated Christmas weapons we have some new mystic uh, or mysterious weapons like these uh, that's just reskins of older weapons not sure when they will hit but hopefully with the steamwork uh, we got the steamwork symbol up at the right corner so hopefully they will be become much better weapons but what do you guys think of this update write a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye